now coming to the molecular term symbol so here is the term symbol 2s plus 1 this is lambda and this is the omega sometimes it is also written like this as i told you earlier now i am going to elaborate the new term which is designated over here this is g and u this is called inversion symmetry that is the behavior under inversion through a center of symmetry i will elaborate it the g and u is applicable for the homonuclear diatomic molecule or the molecule which are having center of symmetry and it is known as inversion symmetry to a center of symmetry right and uh, in the next term i am also going to elaborate if we are having a sigma term right sigma term is there then we are having this plus minus sign also this one so this plus minus sign is designated to this sigma term only this is not designated for pi and all and this is the reflection symmetry through the plane which is having internuclear exit now we are going to explain this total spin angular momentum here this and this is represented by either sigma or capital s that is all your choice but in text it is written in the form of sigma right so here it can also have value zero half integral or full integral and this sigma is analogous to ms which we did in in case of atomic term symbols and ms has values 2s plus 1 and this 2 sigma plus 1 is the multiplicity of the state or term now we are going to discuss about the total electronic angular momentum about this internuclear axis and this is represented by uppercase omega and this is the sum of the reflections of orbital angular momentum and is in angular momentum on this internuclear axis and this is equal to the sum of the lambda plus sigma this is written on the right hand side here right hand side subscript and this designates or this represents the different labels of the term so that is why it is important right now coming to the example so here this is the again i am again taking the same example which we have taken in our previous case so h2 molecule is having this and term we have already decided for this now it's time to define the 2s plus 1 so what is s s is plus half s is the sum of the plus half and minus half and its modulus we will get 0 so s is 0 so multiplicity 2s plus 1 is equal to 1 so this will be have multiplicity as 1 now what about the omega so omega is equal to l plus s so l is 0 in this case or lambda is 0 in this case and s is again 0 or sigma is again 0 then we will have 0 so no we are usually do not denote this 0 here so this is the spin multiplicity this is the orbital angular momentum and this is the this is the total angular momentum about the internuclear axis and this suggests it is so here is the one sigma now what about g and u now coming to the inversion symmetry and reflection symmetry of this here you can see g and u plus and minus is, is still left right so i am going to elaborate it here parity that is inversion symmetry so for understanding this inversion symmetry it is important and uh, i will elaborate it in detail so here it is important this is applicable for homo diatomic molecule or the center symmetric polyatomic molecule for example co2 and c2h2 which are having center of symmetry and this inversion symmetry is represented by small g or u g stands for g right and u stands for unzeret right and the behavior under inversion through the center symmetry we are going to decide this so this is also known as parity and uh, it will be determined by noting the parity for each occupied orbital and using the direct multiplication like g in multiplied by g will give us g rate ungeared on multiplication with ungeared will give us g rate molecular symmetry and here this is the g rate ungeared or ungeared g rate will give us ungeared orbital and again i have highlighted it for you so that you will not forget it for completely occupied orbital it is g always this is a trick right having even number of electrons so this is important we are having j rate 
now we are going to decide how this parity we are going to decide for the given molecular orbital so here i am first going to describe it in detail with the molecular orbitals how they are formed and then i will give you a trick how you can decide it very fastly so here s s orbital when they combine together and they they are positive overlap or they are in phase some is in phase means they are having plus plus symmetry this is not the charge i have already written this is not the charge this is the symmetry and there is an effective overlap and in this case we are saying it g red because it is having inversion symmetry if this is the center for this molecule then we can see either on the left hand side on the right hand side we are having symmetric wave functions right in case of anti bonding molecular orbital they are plus and minus they are out of phase so again i am telling you these are not the charges these are the symmetries so they are repelling to each other right if they are repelling to each other and if this is the symmetry if this is the center point if we are moving this side then we are having plus and if we are moving this side then we are having minus this is actually a trick right this is not the actual picture which i am elaborating here so this, these are if we are having different signs or uh, this is termed as asymmetric and this is now designated as u and the trick is here sigma bonding molecular orbitals are g red and sigma anti bonding molecular orbitals are un g red so this symmetry and anti symmetry you can also understand through this wave function picture so this is the cos cosine function and if we are moving from the send origin point to the left hand side and to the right hand side we will move in the similar fashion right so these are this is symmetric wave function and if we are talking about this sine wave then on moving this side we are going up and on moving this side we are going down means psi plus is equal to minus psi then this is the asymmetric wave function so this this is termed as u and this is termed as g right now coming to the next p orbitals so these are the two p orbitals and this is the internuclear axis when they are come closer they will form bonding molecular orbital sigma orbital and if we are talking about the anti bonding molecular orbital which is formed so in both the cases what we are having this this sigma orbital is g red and this is un g red again right if we are moving if this is the center point and if we are moving this side or this side then we can understand it right we are moving in different way so this is actually trick only right this is designated as g red this is un g red now coming to the pi orbitals formation of pi molecular orbital so if these two come closer in this fashion they will form bonding molecular orbitals and if they are coming in this manner they are forming anti bonding molecular orbital now we are looking for their symmetry about the center this is the center then on up side right we are having what we are having a minus and this is plus or you can see from the color scheme so this is un g red in that case and if we this is the center for this anti bonding molecular orbital then you can write down in this way so this is symmetric about the or inversion point we are meeting at the same point right through this inversion point or center of symmetry so this is called g red here you can see and this is un g red so pi orbital is un g red whereas pi star orbital is g red so this is how you can designate your molecular orbitals now designate this so this is the sigma one so sigma bonding molecular orbitals are g red so this is g red and this has multiplicity one right so this is the molecular term symbol for the h2 molecule again elaborating if we are having co type of molecule then this gu will not be designated there right this will not be designated there if we are having heterodiatomic molecules then this g and u because inversion will not be there right this is only occurs in, in the molecules which are having or which possess center of symmetry now the last point which is left is reflection symmetry 
and this reflection symmetry i will elaborate in my next video because i will explain it in detail through quantum mechanics and then i will take some examples related to the molecular term symbols which are important from the exam point of view so i hope guys you understand how these molecular term symbols can be designated and how we are going to understand all such terms which are incorporated over there if you like this video please give me a thumbs up write me in the comment section thank you all thanks for watching